Good what... evening, ladies and gentlemen. The time has come. This is my 200th upload as Geek Meets Eats. I've had other channels in the past, obviously. This is the one that's held on the longest and I've had the most fun. Obviously, you've really gotten to know this guy right here, Mr. Xander. Welcome back. Welcome back. I know you have a big event this weekend, and uh, we have a, a very big guest uh, yes, that's waiting in the wings right now. And um, I have to say, I, I was very impressed that that uh, this was happening. Now, before she gets on here, I swear whatever she had last week came through the computer and grabbed me because like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I couldn't like smell. I was a snot factory. It's So if I sound a little nasally and, and hoarse, it's because that happened. Most. But, um, so I'm glad she's better. Um, I waited, I did not upload any other videos so that this would still be the 200th. This is the big one. Um, this is, uh, ironically, I, I, and Mary, I know you can hear me, but and I, I'll bring you in in just a second, but I watched it again. I watched the movie again last week because unbeknownst to you, Xander, they're my two favorite characters in movies are, the little girl in Minions, and if you know what I'm talking about, where they go to the the fair, and she wants to win the fluffy unicorn, and she goes, it's so fluffy! Oh, yeah. yeah. And then I run around, and there's been times, numerous, numerous times, where I'll just, like, I blurt out of nowhere, I'll just, somebody will say Mike, and I'll go, Mike Wazowski! And I'll go, Kitty! And so, you know, it, it's been one of those things where... um I'm very excited to to meet Mary. We, we got to, to chat a little bit backstage, but uh, very excited to meet her uh, because of the fact that Boo is my favorite character. Boo and Roz are my two favorite characters in Monsters, Inc. It's no. not the first two, um, but uh, we're going to bring her in right now. So everybody who's in the chat here, please say hello to Miss Mary Gibbs. Hello, How you doing, girl. Good. How's it going, everybody? Good, 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 good. Good, so, good to be here. You know, it's like one of those things when when you see like the, the Pixar movies and everything else, everybody thinks that you're still going to be this tiny little person. Oh yeah, and they think I could still sound like I did, did when I was three too. So oh, like, oh yeah, like, like, like yeah. people forget about puberty, you know. <laughs> um, it, it, it it's amazing. Like I said, I don't know why. I think it's because you know when your character, and, and I and I want to ask you some nuances of, of of that, but your character yeah. in particular is one that it like tugs at your heartstrings because you you all know that little kid that's afraid of the monster in the closet, you know, um, you know, how, how scared they get. And then the giggles. And I have nieces and nephews, uh, you know, all the way from six months, seven months old, all the way up to 12 now. And so, I mean, he's giggled like you before I having them watch you uh, watch this movie for the first time and, and, you know, and, and falling in love with the characters and, um, so I hope everybody sticks around until the end. We're going to start asking Mary a lot more questions, but just so you know, we're going to do a giveaway tonight. It's going to be a $25 gift card to uh, handmade by robots. If you look, I finished my wall of handmade by robots. Oh. And I told Mary though, I said the one thing they didn't do before they stopped doing Disney was they didn't make any monsters Inc characters. I'll just come over and I'll stand out, stand against your wall. Yeah, there you go. We'll just, we'll just <laughs> put you there. You got to wear the little outfit though with the little oh, eyes. Okay. On it. okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But we're going to give away a $25 um, gift card to a virtual gift card to Handmade by Robots. And then I did talk to Mary. Yesterday was National Pickle Day. So we are going to do the Chumoy Pickle TikTok. My goodness. Whatever experience I, I showed Mary beforehand it, it is a giant bright red pickle. I was only and sorry that I didn't have my pickle ready to do it with her. So. Yeah. Yeah. If she would have known, then she would have done pickle stuff with me. So. Um, this, this whole, this is one kit that my mom purchased and she's like, she sent me two things at the same time. I don't know if my mom's watching it. She sent me in a giant inflatable Detroit lions guy that would go in my front yard. And then she sent me the, the video of the pickle. She goes, I got you one. And I'm like, you got me the football good player. Mom. And Shout she's out like, to the good moms out there. No, the pickle. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. All right. Cause everybody likes to see me do stupid human tricks. Is it sweet? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I, don't, I have no idea. I don't. I, I, it, to me, it looks spicy, like it was right? like soaked in, re in grenadine. Here, I'll pull the pickle. Oh, grenadine. That's what it looks like. See how red it is? I know. It looks like it's a jelly. It looks like a Interesting. jelly. Interesting. That's cool. It's I'm excited chili... for to hear more about that. Chili powder is in there. Yeah, yeah. I think it's more spicy for sure. And I'm sure like whatever the red is is going to, you know, do this thing. This is maple, everybody. She's oh, yeah. needy. Oh, she wants to be on my lap, but she cannot. Maple. 
<laughs> so you were um you're gonna be at Xander's event this weekend, is that correct? I am, yes. I will be there. Can you remind us where it is, Xander? It is that hot anonymous brewery at Claremont Mesa. Um yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Uh it's gonna be a curated event by me. Um Mary Boo is- and Booze. So I'm super excited. That's what it should have been called. Boo and booze. Boo and booze. Well, you know, I, I'm all do, I'm doing it all by myself, and I'm just I'm trying. Hey, my- you are just you're you're killing it. Like uh, you're yeah. killing it. I am. Fucking, <coughs> fine, my mom says I'm here. Be nice. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, so uh, Hot Anonymous Brewery uh, in Claremont Mesa. And it's going to be killer. We got smash burgers. We got uh, 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 Mongolian food. So it's going to be, it's going to be flavorful. The, the brews are actually uh, uh, brewed there, brewed there um, by Hop Anonymous. So it's, mm. everything's tasty and just crafted to, to delight. And we're at, it's going to be bringing the flavor as well. Fine, she's fine. Awesome. So Maple, be- Maple's excited too. <laughs> oh hush uh, thank yeah. you yeah yeah i'm excited yeah yeah uh, so i went to uh motor city comic-con over the weekend and i, I posted one picture where was that? I, um so that's in detroit and they do it every year okay. in like may and then november so they do it every six months May is usually the bigger one. You got, you know, quite a few names. Um, this time, though, I mean, they had uh, Ralph Macchio and Billy Zabka and um, what's his name? Martin Cove, who was the the bad <laughs> sensei in the first one. And um, Robocop was there, uh, Dr. Peter Weller. And then we also uh, met Renee, who was the voice actress of April O'Neil in the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ooh, cartoon. Very cool. I will have to say, and I'm assuming just little I've met you, that you're probably going to be more like her than Ralph Macchio. I was not impressed with Ralph Macchio. (laughs) Yeah, he he was um, a little standoffish. We kind of, we didn't know that we'd walked, like it was, it seemed empty and it was towards the beginning of the con. So we just walked up there. I didn't know that he was supposed to be going to some panel or something. And then his handler's like, no, we'll go ahead and take care of you. But he like pretty much was like annoyed that we were even there. It's a bummer when like you go to meet your child star and then you know you have that experience but you like, gotta understand like there's probably there's probably something going on with them or like you know i don't know but yeah it's still it still sucks to like to have that experience i'm sorry about that yeah yeah i mean knowing you and, and just how i met you and everything and and uh, you know i've seen pictures i you know i did a little instagram stalking and everything <laughs> beforehand just to, to look at <laughs> okay. um, I, I i would have to imagine that being a voice actor versus being you know a live live actor is is completely and totally different people don't know especially being a three-year-old actor so it's like i was only three years old and like what's the best (coughs) part about being best part about being a voice actor and being three years old on top of that is like i can walk around and live a normal life and like no one recognizes me um you know unless i'm like on my college campus and i tell my one friend and then all of a sudden it spreads like wildfire and like you know then i'll then i'll get recognized in those cases but like you know it's very it's very low-key it's kind of like I'm, it's i feel like hannah montana sometimes <laughs> double life. It's a double life. and i suppose yeah, you double. hated it when like the phrase boo like all of a sudden became popular because then i'm sure everybody was using it like hey boo uh well it was like it's funny because like a lot of my friends call me boo just as a, as a nickname um and so for around people and then like there's a couple that refers to their partners boo or whatever i'll like i'll look and i'll get all confused so yeah there's definitely some confusion there <laughs> but I'm, I'm the og boo so you are so, the og you know, boo that's for sure yeah. <laughs> um, so xander this is what i was talking about so i showed you i t- i kind of mentioned that kyle rise irving you know i sh- the mm-hmm. artist and I, I sh- you know i showed you some of his stuff i think he did a spawn oh yes 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 check that bad boy out oh Ooh. What is that on? What is that? That is a chomp. Um, That's an actual chomp. And then, um, so this is the violator from the Spawn comics. What's a chomp? Chomp. Um, Here, I'll show. I have have a one that's not all painted up. I'm doing some custom chomps right now uh, with a Dead Zone Citizen. So I'm excited to be doing those. So that's actually cool to see it as an inspiration. So they're awesome times. I'm like, where am I going to do it? Like blanks that you paint? 
Yeah, so it's like a little abominable snowman. Man, yeah. So like this is the astronaut one. What? He's so cute. Oh, see, look, you just gave me the idea, dude. Yeah, so he so that's the astronaut one. Um but my favorite one, you guys will both love this. I want a boot chop. I a I I can actually make that. I got I got three uh three blanks, but um yeah, we'll see what's up. We'll see what's up because now, oh man, I'm getting the ideas now. Yeah. Oh, so Where did you see this one? Now, this is my favorite. If I can get him out, this was limited to 2,000 pieces. Um, when he came out, he's a little bit, I think, a little bit. No, he's not bigger, he just has accessories. So, this, and you guys will know it as soon as you see it. <laughs> what? Ah! That's fire. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Bob Ross Chomp. And then he came with, like, a little picture and a little easel that you can set up with him. Um, so people Martin's... just get Blaze and custom. Like, I need to look more into this. This is, like... Oh, cool. yeah. They do all kinds of... They, they've done all kinds of characters. I don't know about... I mean, besides Bob Ross, I, I don't have as many as other people. Now, Handmade by Robots did a, um, a crossover. Oh, the Abominable Snowman is my favorite character in Monsters, Inc., so that'd be kind of a funny crossover. Even though that's unrelated, but oh yeah, related. Oh, that's same bad. thing but different. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, so cool. So this is handmade so by robots. Lightsander? Yeah, that's one of the blanks. Oh cool. Chomp! Oh my gosh, they're adorable. Yeah, so so that. they just cr did a crossover with handmade by robots, and um, so this one's pine scented. This is the Bigfoot Chomp, and he's handmade um, by robots. That that name just like clicked with that's 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 a good name. Good choice. Thank you. Was iconic. <laughs> I am made by robots. I'm like, wait a second. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so they're supposed to be, they're supposed to look like they're handmade. So, like, if you look at them from far away, I actually, at first, when I saw them in the store, I thought they were knitted, like, like oh. little, like, bean bags or whatever, but they're actually vinyl toys, just like a Funko Pop or anything else. Cool. So, cool. Dale, I think, has the biggest, Dale that's in the chat, I think he has, like, the, the most complete uh, collection. I realized today that I'm missing 22. Of the ones that have been released, so oh, let's, uh, let's, uh, get Boo. let's let's get Boo there made by robots. I know. For I know. Right. See, Disney, they did a whole bunch of Disney. Um, so like, there's Mickey and Minnie, Donald, Goofy. Uh, the villains are down here, and they did um, Nightmare Before Christmas, Fantasia, Lion Ooh. King, Fantasia. Do they have the hippos? No, uh, just oh, the hippos are my favorite animal. So I'm like, they had a ballet hippo. I Robots, we need a boo. And we need a boo. Come on. Come on. They, uh, the people so Mary are... might watch. So I, I was talking to her earlier. We were sending pictures back and forth because I was showing her. So they did these. These up here are like little egg cartons. There's four of them. They're shaped like little eggs. And there's there's Disney ones of those. And they did like that one's Toy Story right there. So they're, but they're like teeny tiny. You can't really see it. Oh, like right next to the bear up there on top is uh, is what's her name? The girlfriend of uh, Woody. Oh, Jesse. 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 Yeah. So that's Jesse. But they're like literally like. So there's like actually uh, there was a um, some Pixar theory that uh, what is it? Okay, so Andy's mom was the original owner of Jesse. Okay. If, if I think that's correct. And in Monsters Inc., you could see a Jesse doll in Boo's room. Yes. There's a theory that Boo is Andy's mom. Anyway, that just. Oh. Uh, so, you know, that yeah. was just oh. random ways yeah. that the movie, like the, you know, I suppose. Yeah, no, Boo's Boo's important in the uh, in the. Ooh, she's a, yeah, I, my Low favorite key. is that she's a uh, magical time traveling witch from Brave. Yes, yes, That's I've heard my this favorite. as well. We have yeah, yeah. So I actually have it. I have a YouTube that I haven't posted on in two years. Um, uh, help, help me, help me. I, <laughs> I need the inspiration. No, um, I but you. I actually did a Boo Grown Up is what it's called. So I'm trying to post on that. Um, I was talking a little bit earlier about it on like backstage or whatever. Um, but yeah, uh, I did a whole thing on the Pixar theory and the time traveling which is definitely that's my favorite. Sick. That's, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. I'll have to go back and watch those because I didn't know that existed. So I'll, I'll go look at yeah, it. Yeah, Boo Grown Up. That's my vlog. And it's now my life is it's, it's coming, it's coming again. It's coming again. Yeah, yeah there you go. A <laughs> little, little bit of inspiration. So yeah. I, I don't think the movie was released until you were what six? Uh 
five, maybe. Yeah, it was, um, it came out in 2001. Uh, and I was around five, five, six. Uh, I was two and a half to three and a half when I actually did the voice. So, um, yeah, man, my dad was a storyboard artist on the movie. Oh, okay. And so that was my in. Um, and originally they just needed a little girl just to draw. And so my dad essentially was in the right meeting at the right time. Uh, he would bring me in. I would play around the studio and they would sketch me. And my, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, my mom always put my hair in pigtails. And so Boo was always drawn with pigtails. And then it just kind of turns out that pigtails are easier to animate. But that's kind of that, you know, why why she had pigtails. Uh, and then as the movie progressed, they're like, um, you know, I was comfortable in that environment. It was the actual recording studio was a different place, but they were like, let's try to bring her to the actual recording studio, see how she does. Uh, apparently I walked in like I owned the place and they followed me around with a microphone for a year of my life. Oh, oh so really? Very okay. serendipitous. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm, I didn't want to post it on here and get, get a, you know, like a hit, but I'm going to play this because this is one of my favorite parts. And I listened to it over and over, and maybe you can kind of, like, explain to us exactly what you were doing here. Sitting sound along, and all in here for this song, they went round and long. Oh, yes. I wanted the most last question. Uh, so, they wanted me to sing a song. You know, they wanted me to sing for the bathroom. And so, uh, I started singing, wheels on the bus go round and round. Um, but that was copywritten. So I like I they couldn't use that. And so they said just babble, just babble and play and sing. And I think I babbled for like five hours and that's what they got from it. So I was just playing around the studio. You know, I have memories of like the 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 um, the foam on the walls for the sound bouncing. I remember just like rolling around the walls. So, you know, la, 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 la. like <laughs> who knows where those noises came from, but uh, they're just the <laughs> universe. Yeah, yeah. No, but how did they get like so? Being that young, and, and it's not like you know, like when I re met Renee, she was an, obviously an adult when she did the voice. But you know, there's there's parts of the movie where you actually sound like you are truly in fear. And how do they get that out of a toddler? Yeah, well, I mean, I was brought in for two and a half, and then even up until like five years old. So like there was a lot, like big period of my life when I was being recorded. So they were able to catch a wide, you know, wide array of emotions, but specifically um, fear. I've actually never, like, that's actually a really good question. I know like for the crying scenes, um, for example, uh, I was like running around the studio and I had some change in my pocket that was making too much noise. So they had to take that away from me. And that made me cry. That was, you know, non-intentional, but that was one of the crying. Um, one of the times um, my mom was, it was for the door scene when uh, Randall's chasing them through the doors and she's making me go, uh, um, and she throws me up to make me laugh. And then when she catches me, her fingernail just like scratches my gum, which is like, you know, and that was the big crying scene where all the lights went out. Uh, so I know like the crying scenes, but like, like real fear, like that's actually a good question. Um, I know like to get, uh, cause I obviously couldn't read a script, you know, they'd have to kind of get creative um, with how they'd get the lines from me. Uh, oftentimes Pete Doctor, the director, he would use a cookie monster puppet to talk to me. And so they wanted me to say something in a certain, in a certain way with a certain emotion, you know, C cookie monster might say, you know, boo, what, what would you say if you lost your kitty? Say kitty in a sad way or, you know, so maybe they, in the terms of like being scared, maybe they, that's kind of how they, they got it out of me. Um, but that's actually a good question. Because I'm trying to think, of, I'm thinking of the scene of like, you know, the first scene when Boo is like really terrified of Sully when he's uh, in that simulation scene. And I don't know how they got me to sound so scared. That's actually a question. Um, yeah, my my mom went to her, my, her first Comic-Con with me the other day. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, that'd be a good question to ask her though, because it was it was cool to have her there to like for questions like this, where I'm like, I really have no idea, Mom, but you were there and have <laughs> better memories. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they just kind of figured it out, followed me around. No, that's um, not your only movie you've done. You did um, some voices for what Inside Out as well. Yeah, so they actually they it was just uh, reused material, so um, like they had however many years the worth of my voice in the vault i guess uh in pixar and so when they needed a toddler's voice for baby riley and inside out um they they pulled my voice no uh, kidding 
Yeah, yeah. So I didn't have to go and re-record anything. I just got a contract in the mail that says, you're baby Riley. I'm like, all right. <laughs> sounds, sounds good to me. <laughs> so <laughs> two for one. <laughs> Now, did you, is it something like, I know you went to the premiere because there's pictures of you at the premiere. Now, I, I'm assuming, is that the one and only time that you met the main actors like Billy Crystal and everybody? Yeah, that is the time, one time that I met them. Um, when I was like, when I was 20 years old, I was teaching yoga and Billy Crystal tweeted about me. He was like, the voice of Boo is now 20 years old and teaching yoga. That's about as close as I've gotten to Billy Crystal. And then John Goodman was doing some recording for Monsters at Work um but he was uh doing it over zoom and i just happened to be at pixar when he was doing that and i got to talk to him over zoom that was a few years ago um that was kind of cool but i was just super awkward i was like what well, i mean what do i say <laughs> i'm like hi john <laughs> like uh, i was this big when i i was this big you remember me okay cool like we did a movie together yeah you've done about a million so <laughs> nice to see you uh yeah no but so i we don't it's not like we stay in contact or anything like that would be cool have a little reunion um but who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll all get together one day. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't reach out to any of them. I did reach out to Jennifer Tilly because you know I I like Celia, oh, cool. and I had no idea until I started doing research that Roz was actually a guy. Roz Bob Peterson. That was my friend's dad. Yes. Yeah. Bob Peterson. Um. Yeah. He's not. He, uh. What else is he? I think he, my dad was a storyboard artist, and I want to say Bob Peterson was also a storyboard artist. I don't know. You have to look at like yeah. But he was. He's a big. He's a big player in Pixar. Um, yeah, that's what I saw. I was like, there's no way he's going to answer me and, you know, in time to do this. But I was like trying to find someone else that, that like you were with that would, you know, come on tonight too and do like a little oh, mini, yeah. mini reunion or anything. Because it's. Yeah, uh, that would be cool. I, I mean, we're, we're not far from coming up on, on, you know, an anniversary of this movie. And it's it's been so iconic. And it's something that it doesn't matter whether, you know, it's in 2001 or it now 2023. It's, mm -hmm. it's a storyline and a character base that can transfer to generation after generation. Uh, yeah. I know all my nieces and nephews have seen it. Well, maybe not Theo, or if he's seen it, he probably hasn't comprehended it because he's seven months old, but uh -huh. uh, the kid's the size of a three-year-old. He's so tall. He's adorable. <laughs> he's, how like, old? he's seven months and he's like three oh, feet tall. Three feet so tall, seven months. Wow. Good for, good for that mom. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh no! I mean, it's absolutely an iconic movie, and I mean, my favorite part of when I met Mary was she goes, "Yeah," like she told me how old she was, and I go, oh, "We're the same age." Like, and she's like, "Yeah, I grew up with the movie. I grew up with the movie too." You know what I mean? I thought that was like that kind of was just such a cool um, thing to say, you know, in that moment because it's like I grew up with this Mike Mazowski. <laughs> like I, yeah, you know, like it's just it, and it's because I'm of that age you know what i mean when it came out yeah. that's it was I mean. just, uh, special yeah that, like you know i love meeting people that are my age too because yeah we grew up with it together and like it's cool about monster because it is it seems to hit every generation like i have you know grandparents saying they have memories of watching it with their grandchildren people are our age are now having kids wow it's crazy i only have a fur baby um but they're showing their kids and it just it's, it's it's just cool to see like all like all the different um people that I can relate to through this, but yeah, my favorite people are like, you know, I'm 27 and people that I'm like, yeah, we really did grow up with the movie together, literally, like, so, yeah. So you, you've you got the artistic bug as well as, as Xander, do you want to show off uh, your your artwork in the back there that you did? Your fanny packs? You want to show oh, them? Oh, oh, sorry, not Xander, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, I do like to do art things. <laughs> my newest venture is, uh, just making these little custom fanny packs. None of these are done. Um, uh, I just got marygibbs.com that I'm building out. Um, and then Etsy's, uh, my my Instagram is Visual Boo. And so my brand, I guess, is Visual Boutique. So oh, cool. <laughs> this little like, um, these are little fanny packs that I'm hand painting. Um, Mike Wazowski, this is like a Sully that was supposed to be done for Halloween because he's all bloody. <laughs> and then uh, Boo. You know, yeah, just, um, yeah. Oh. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah, now, just kind of a fun little side project that I've been doing. And I, I love to sew, so I'm eventually going to make, like, solely bucket hats or even, like, hand-sewn items and stuff like that. So it's kind of a, a, a work in progress, but just something to keep my cre creative wheels turning, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, those to the, to the event or are cons in the future? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm going to bring them to the uh I've, I've 
sold it. I got the idea at a Comic Con. I was just like painting one, and someone bought it, <laughs> and I was like, oh, cool. Uh, <laughs> let's do it. Uh, yeah, so I plan to bring a few to the event, um, event this weekend, and um, yeah, then I'm just gonna like kind of do little drops every once in a while, and yeah, so awesome. we'll, see, we'll see how that goes. So, yeah. so, com. Mary, Mary Gibbs.com. Yeah, it's in, it's in, it's, uh, it'll be up in the next couple weeks. So awesome. Mary Gibbs.com. Awesome. Uh, and then, yeah, so you can find everything through there. I'll, I'll be putting my comic cons up there and the visual boutique, all, all those things. And, uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. so <laughs> beyond doing, you know, the movies or when they reuse your voice, did you have any of the drive to, did you want to keep doing that? Or like when you're a little kid like that, you're like, I just want to be a kid. Uh, I, I did just want to be a kid. I was, I was definitely drawn towards musical theater and like, I love singing. I love music. And I did, I was like acting a little bit, but I think I was, I'm just too shy. Honestly, I like, believe it or not. I'm like, I was, especially as a kid, super shy introvert. And, um, there was one time it was sixth grade and, uh, we were auditioning for Wizard of Oz and it was set in stone that all of the sixth graders were going to be munchkins. But when I went up, he, he had me, uh, the drama teacher had me read the line for the Wicked Witch. So I read the line and then it said cackle and like little parentheses. And I just froze. I just like, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to cackle. All the eighth graders are staring at me. And he was like, well, are you going to cackle? And I just started crying and I ran off stage. And anyway, that was my last interview. Or I mean, my last audition. Uh, <laughs> um, but when I've been doing Comic Cons, I've been meeting all these people and like making connections. And see Andrew Nelson, um, he was uh, involved with the um, special effects for Star Wars, and he wore the uh, Darth Vader's costume in two of the uh, the movies, and he does the voice in a lot of the video games. Um, he's directing an audio show, and he actually um, is partner in this company called Adventurous Ideas. And so, Adventurous Ideas, they are producing an audio show called Heroes of Extinction. And I'm I'm one of the main characters in that. Um, the first episode's on YouTube, and everything else is going to be on like podcast apps. Um, it's kind of like an ode to like radio shows, um, but it's really well done. Like as you listen to it, it's like you could visualize the story. Like it's uh, it's a really cool thing to be part of. That's kind of like my like I say, it's like dipping my toe into voice acting. Um, but I mean, it, it, it's it's harder than I thought. You know, it makes me have a lot of respect for voice actors. You're you're alone in a booth, and you have to. Con like bring up all these emotions um let's drop of a hat you know uh luckily andrew is a is a great um is a great director and he'll help me like he'll kind of coach me and get me into the headspace that i need to be in um but yeah so that's kind of like my first voiceover project since and it's fun you know i'm uh but i never i was never kind of like chasing that dream um when i was little i did a couple auditions and you know people wanted me to be in their movies i was uh, people wanted me to uh be Bam Bam and the Flintstones. Um, there was like a handful of people reaching out to my mom. And we went to one audition. This is for Santa Claus 2 with Tim Allen for the niece. Mm -hmm. And apparently I came in from Disneyland. I had a flannel on, a stain down my shirt because I'm just a kid, you know. And we walk in and it's just all these pageant kind of girls, you know, and all their pageant dresses and the moms living vicariously through them and like all this. And I think we just realized like this is just, it just wasn't our vibe. And so, yeah. you know, I went to got put in public school and you know all that so i, I think it was, it was kind of like uh the best of both worlds a little, a little bit uh so I, I was never chasing that i think i the little amount of fame i had growing up was enough like yeah so did kids like once the movie came out and everything and, and you're in school did did kids once they found out it was you and you know in your own grade or everything did they treat you differently or ask I, for your autograph yeah elementary school i definitely remember um like you know some people saying like so and so only likes you because you're boo or i remember like saying to my mom there was some bully in school that like bullied everybody but she was nice to me and i remember saying like talking to my mom that oh i think she's only nice to me because i'm boo which i mean this could be worse obviously but it was just like little things like treated differently and then um when the uh when um the yearbooks came out you know, the whole freaking school would swarm me. I remember being like on the bench in the in the schoolyard with like 
for just a crowd of people around me and everyone's trying to sign me and i had one of my or everyone's having me try to sign things yeah. one guy had me try to sign his chest i'm like a freaking first grader like dude and uh <laughs> and uh i just remember my friend grabbed my arm and i got like pulled out of this crowd anyway so i had like there's some there were some weird things like that that happened uh um but you know <laughs> day to day it was pretty i mean like uh, yeah, I, was, I don't. And, I don't... Eventually, Wayne. You know, like when the next movie came out and the next princess was out and everything. So it, it, I'm sure. Yeah. Wait. So what has what where where has Mary Gibbs gone from that point in your life to what are you doing now? Now I am um, I'm getting my doctorate in Chinese medicine. So a uh, completely different realm. Um, but in 2012, I got um, well. I had scoliosis. I found out in seventh grade. So I was, I grew crooked. And in 2012, they put two 10 inch rods in my spine. Uh, so I got a 10 vertebrae spinal fusion. Oh, wow. And um, that kind of set me on the path of where I am now. Um, ironically, it put me on the path of more holistic healing. Um, so after my back surgery, I got really into yoga and movement. And uh, I didn't actually go to physical therapy, but I know it sounds all hippy dippy, but I, I intuitively worked with my body. I mean, hey. believe it or not, this is what I did. And and I three months it. later, I did a handstand and I, a year later deadlifted 250 pounds and my surgeon's like, oh my gosh, like, you know, and so I'm like yoga, I, like power of yoga or just not even just yoga, just movement and stretching and like move it or lose it is literally like, you know, yep. it's true. And so I started teaching yoga through that, I learned that I really loved to like massage people because I would always massage people in classes, got my massage license. Um, and in massage school, I was I took a class called Tui Na, which is a Chinese medicine um, form of massage and got a ping and really liked Chinese medicine. And since I already had my bachelor's degree, I was able to then move forward and get my doctorate. And I'm in my first year right now um, doing that. But yeah, I'll be a doctor of Chinese medicine three years. So <laughs> that's pretty wow. exciting. Pretty amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I, mean, I just, I just, I just had to buy scrubs and a stethoscope. Like it's, it's becoming legit. <laughs> oh, you like have to go and like do the cadaver and everything too? I are, yeah, actually in my undergrad, I, I worked with a cadaver, which was like, oh my, I'm like an, I'm such an anatomy nerd. I just, I love, love everything about the, I just love learning about the body in general. Um, so yeah, I've done a cadaver lab. I want to do another one actually. Uh, so yeah, I'm like, I love it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh -oh. uh, I have a weak I just, stomach. I, just, I mean, like, I, I can barely handle when my nieces and nephews would just like spit up. I'd be like over there going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and no, I'm like, bring it on. I watched my whole back surgery on YouTube before I got it. Like, I, I'm a, I'm weird. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I had my doctor take a picture of the inside of my back. So like, I have that. <laughs> oh, like, what? Yeah, oh, I'm gonna leave me pass out. <laughs> I'm super, I'm, I'm Holy super shit! Good. But that's awesome, though. That's oh, actually God. really amazing that you that you your life is is taking this uh, healing route. Yeah, it's nice to like something you know, like that kind of put me on that path for sure. So, like, so I'm grateful for it. Even though you know, sometimes I'm like, I used to be a gymnast. I used to you know do all these back bends, and sometimes I'm like, you know, I wish I you know, I wish, I wish I could have, could have, it's easy to get caught up in that, but then you just have to be kind of grateful for where, what, whatever experience you went through, where it put you and be like, all right, this is what I have. What can I do with it? <laughs> yeah. I used to play volleyball. I played volleyball up in, in the oh, college yeah. and, um, and you just saw me like reach my hand up here is because I tore this shoulder really badly in the fall. Oof. And, um, and I know this one's messed up because, you know, this was my hitting arm and, and, you know, that's not a natural motion to do the spike. I mean, it hurt just doing yeah. that. But I'm like, I'm, I keep picturing myself when I'm like 80 and, you know, knowing that my knees are, my knees are going to be horrible. My ankles are, one of my ankles is like literally fused. I think I broke it when I was little and didn't know. Uh -huh. And so it, it doesn't, my foot doesn't bend this direction. See, but that's the thing. I don't think people, we have this like misconception that, oh, we get older and we expect our bodies to get worse. Like it doesn't have to be of course they're going to of course it's not going to be as good as it was you know but it's move it or lose it really it's like yeah. i've been learning in my school like qigong and tai chi it was like super like i love doing it's like those you know you see all those like old people in the park doing like all these movements but i'm yeah. like i love it <laughs> and it's, seriously it helps things like just the blood flow and like little, little things like that i mean it just makes such a difference but you know i i mean i i 
try to practice what I preach. It's obviously, it's hard to stay in the routine, especially with like life and school and everything. Like, you know, I'm just, I'm saying it really to remind myself, like I need to freaking do this every day too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I need to stretch. I need to move every day. Uh, it's hard to forget, but you know. I thought about doing, doing the yoga because one, I, I hate, I, because I, I, I played sports from the time I was five until the time I was 23, like in school. And then after, you know, I, afterwards I played up through my adult, but it, so I find it hard to motivate myself to actually exercise, but I think something like yoga or Tai Chi or something like that might be my speed because I can do it at yeah. home and, you know, in, in the privacy of my home, own home. I don't like to get all like sweaty and run around and do high impact yeah. stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot three. You can't tell cause I'm sitting down, but I'm six foot three yeah. and I don't want to do the, the heavy impact on my, my joints and stuff anymore. But I do need to do something because I, especially in the winter time, like my shoulders will just yeah, throb at night. I forget. I'll, I'll try to remember the guy's name for you. Um, I think he was an ex football player or something, but now he like preaches qigong. It's like a qigong is just like it's like a I don't know how to describe it. It's like a like tai chi is more like slow. Like, uh, it seems a little more serious and Qigong is like more prescriptive, like short, easier, manageable. Like you could do five minutes in the morning kind of movements. It's like breath to movement kind of stuff. Uh, I'll try to remember that guy's name because he was an athlete too. And he was been through some injuries and then he pretty much healed himself through this because it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 slow yeah, no, I will. I will. Um, because yeah, just, so yeah, like you said, especially when it gets colder, it's like everything kind of like. And I live in Michigan, so it's already cold. Oh, gosh. It's no, yeah. it, you know, it's November. It's like it's twenty degrees at night today. I think it got up to fifty, and I was like, "Woo!" Uh, <laughs> because I, I have here, to go, I'm in San Diego. I'm like, I just bought a heater. I'm like, it's what sixty degrees. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So if it was sixty, we'd like have the windows open. Yeah. I'd have shorts and a t-shirt on. Be like, yeah, it's summertime. Oh, oh my gosh, you know, ninety, so and we're like, we're over here going, oh, you <laughs> know. But in Michigan, like it can literally change. It can be snowing, and then the next day it'll be seventy. It's weird. Yeah. Oh, well. I, you should, you should really, I don't, I don't know how we, I know we can request people to come, but um, you, I mean, you should come to, to Motor City. It's, it's a very good event. It's not like super huge where to the point where like you can't breathe and there's so many people there that, you know, it's clogged. Motor City. Yeah. Let me just like, I'll, I'll write it down or Xander, remind me to like. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Cause I, uh, my, I have managers that kind of, they, they, Slub Works is my management. Uh, company they're amazing they uh managed over 300 other voice actors mickey mouse like tinkerbell Crazy. Uh, uh elvira i don't know <laughs> like, uh, um yeah so they don't really make those connections but i'll see if i could it'd be cool to just reach out and see like yeah because it's it's a fun yeah. event the one in may is a lot more fun i mean it, you know everybody's out it's you know it's like we started getting out from having cabin fever and so everybody in michigan's like this is a party big party um the uh the people that dress up i think that's on a i think that's saturday that they do uh, the cosplay and mm -hmm. they're just it, it's amazing but they always have like the the 501st legion with the stormtroopers um, oh cool i have some friends in there that's my awesome. my favorite one though was um dark helmet from space balls the, the the whoever was in there did the voice perfectly and my nephew wasn't much shorter than he I was i've seen space balls you don't. Oh, you haven't seen it. Oh, it's for real? Like, here, I got I a picture. I too. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a classic. I have here. Wait, I don't like that either. It's a classic. It, it was freaking hilarious. And uh, okay, here you go. I'm about to sew this patch on my backpack. My friend gave it to me. Five oh. So he looks like a mini Darth Vader. I don't. There it goes. <laughs> Bad guys doing good. I love it. I love it. That's oh, look at that. Cool. Oh, that's cute. So it's a, a Mel Blanc movie. And then uh, I don't, I got a picture of the. So this is him and Darth Vader and some of the 501st. Like, excuse my camera because I broke my lens, but. Oh, you're good. Oh, cool. I love that. But the best part is when you can really see how tall. So this is this is the oh, voice actor from April O'Neil. And then so my nephew. Wait, is, which one? Are, what shirt are you in? I'm I'm in blue in the middle, light blue. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's my, you're a that's my baby four? brother on the left, and then that's my oh. nephew on the right. And then look how he's taller than she is by about eight yeah. inches. Yeah. She was well. the tiniest little thing. <laughs> so cute. But she was, you know, she was so nice. Um, and the nice thing is, is your character being who it is, and and you know, being in the in the Disney Pixar 
universe is that there's so many products that people can get signed. You know, I know you have your own pictures and stuff like that, but um, somewhere I like think the pops, it, the, yeah, like the pops and the pops um, have been like so great. I mean, because they they released they released some pops I guess a while ago and they keep vaulting them and making new ones and so some gets like like they're all exclusive and I'm they keep I'm like oh keep doing that pop <laughs> like what I, <laughs> like, oh, yeah. cool. it's like I a have new the one TV like your lounge fly in the back where Sully's hol holding you oh my that, gosh yeah that's, that's the one I have I love it it's a good one no, there's some cool things out there. Mama J bought me a I, Star Wars one. This was a uh, someone gave it to me. It was a popcorn bucket from Dis Dip uh, Disneyland in Japan. What? But it has like uh, all these doors. Oh, that's oh, great! Hey. Yeah, you could kind of some of the doors you could open. I don't know. Oh, there's like a little guy. That is. Yeah, cool. it's, it's just like a cute little. I don't know. I get so much like random boo shit. Or sorry, excuse my language. No. <laughs> uh, but this was one of the cooler ones. <laughs> yeah, it's your bedroom. Come yeah. on. So those drawings that are in there, the, the crayon drawings, did they like take your crayon and drawings and then like yes, them? they actually did. I drew all I drew those. Um the picture of Randall that Boo's holding up uh when she's showing Sully her monster. That was my drawing. What? Um and so like uh, let's see. Like at Comic Cons, I'll redraw it. That's oh. <laughs> yeah. So this I painted this whole thing on this fanny pack. Um, this it looks thing. super clean, dude. Yeah, Thanks. great. Posca markers. <laughs> Love it. Uh, thanks. Yeah. So I'm kind of like figuring out the best way, but this will be available. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> now, now you need a Xanderize boo. I know, right? I know. I don't uh, even know what that means, but I want it. I want to know. That's what that's what we're working on. So she said, <laughs> "I need to Xanderize Boo. Like I need to, I need to do what I was telling you earlier." Oh yeah, yeah, and, yeah, 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 for sure. So we, we'll I'm have excited. something. We'll have something there, but that's just a preview of you know. Well, even just seeing, even because I do graphic, I um, I'm like a Photoshop Adobe nerd. I love it. Like when I when I my dad would bring me to work, um they digitized everything the storyboard artists they used to draw by hand and then everything got put on photoshop and wacom tablets um and so i would go into his office and he'd be in the meeting and i would just play around on photoshop and uh so i did a little graphic design stuff and um so i know like how much work goes into it and when i saw the 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 graphic that you sent over i was like oh my gosh i love it so oh, i love your, your style i love your yeah so i'm like i'm excited to see more of well that was just, that was just some quick <laughs> I mean, I, I just was like, I just wanted to make it flavorful. That so oh, I, I, I like I, the flavor. I can't wait for you to see what what's really gonna come out. It's gonna be some iconic shit. Uh, yeah, I love but, it. But you know, that's just the way it goes. Cool. Yeah, yeah, we vibe, so I like it. It was good. most definitely. Most so definitely. I I have to ask. So uh, we've asked everybody else that you brought on here. How did you two meet? I was at I was doing a um a signing at what was the store? Ninja Exchange. Ninja Exchange. It's a really it's a really cool. It's kind of like a like a permanent Comic Con. It's open on the weekends in Carlsbad. Yes. Uh yeah, and it was so cool. I had no idea what to expect. I I was I've done some store signings. I think I was expecting more of that. And I walked in. It was like a full on Comic Con. That just happens every weekend. Yeah. Set up there. It's like a. It's so cool. It's actually yeah. legendary. It's legendary. Yeah, it really is. I mean, like, I've never seen anything like it. And I was, and I'm San, I'm based in San Diego. And so it was cool to, like, know that something like that exists, like, right there. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I guess uh, Xander, um, the people that I was working with, you, you guys did, like, flea markets or something together? Or? Yeah, uh, the Kobe Swami, uh, shit, they were there when I was 18 years old, hustling my stuff on the ground, you know, my, my, my artwork on the ground. So, a couple of those individuals that's that's the story of how why i was even talking to them all regular schmegler because um <laughs> yeah because <laughs> sorry but uh, <laughs> yeah. uh they, so i was passing out flyers for my my last event in october um and i was like i think like a month a month and some change like ahead of schedule so um or no maybe i was like two weeks before the show and I was just trying to hustle these these flyers just to get everyone to come out. 
Um, and I, I was talking to, I was talking to one of them and I think, I don't know who was that, who was the individual that was, there was someone that like was on your team, right? Uh, well, I just, I didn't know anybody there before I got there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well. So like my managers, they, could they made, uh, I think that's how I, I don't know. But yeah, so when I, well, I met him, I met, I'm forgetting names right now. I Me so too. Bad. I don't know anyone's name. So Okay, good. I, I, um, but the gentleman, he, anyway, I love, there was, everyone was so awesome. Uh, but yeah, I've seen him in a couple of shows. So that's how I, I ended up there. So actually, okay. I actually didn't know one of them before there then. Anyway, I don't know. Sorry, no, my like Comic Cons because like, I kind of blend together, and so that's why I was like, kind it's of all good because I know faces and like in energy. So like I, a name I'll forget always, and yeah. it, for me, I just know people like that. You know what I mean? From yeah, no, no, life. I feel you. Except when you're walking down a random street and you see like a comic book artist legend, and you're like, "Hey, man, yeah. I know who you are." Oh, um, <laughs> but that's that's the thing <laughs> is I don't step outside my office, and when I do, it's magical because inside my office is magical. So. I've kind of built my yeah. my life to be able to just you know experience it in that way, and like I met you, uh, it, you know your your guys's uh, a part in my life is is something that I'm very aware of as it's happening. I'm going, wow, this is crazy, you know, and 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 for me, I'd rather just I rather pay homage to that instead of trying to consume it because I'm not a consumer in that in that way, but I yeah. love this thing called life because I'm here. I have to do something with <laughs> it. Well. Here. Yeah. So, you know, that's why um, when I ran into uh, Mary, I was talking to somebody and I was explaining the show that I'm doing. And I think I was just like, Oh, I want to, I want to do more local shows. Like I want to, I think I, I was just like, bring me on. <laughs> but she did. She said, she said, well, do you do tablings? I'm like, uh, excuse me. I, was kind of afraid to talk to you, but I definitely do. You know what I mean? <laughs> I only grew up with your voice. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, you know, for me, it was like, a, I'm still a fan, you know, of everything, of everything mm -hmm. that has been a part of my creative journey in my life, which is just everything that I've, I've consumed. So I, I was standing there kind of like, just explaining to somebody the show. And Mary said, me, 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 please. I want to just throw this out here real quick. What do you say about that? I'm going, dude, I was literally, I just wanted to, I wanted to ask you, you know what I mean? So that's <laughs> yeah, how the cool. universe does it for me. The universe kind of sometimes, if I don't have to. Like, put down a platter, like, hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's how we, I commented on a video of someone else that I interviewed a long time ago and he had had something to do with the video. And then we just started talking and from there it, it kind of grew. I mean, you and I have done, I don't know how many lives together, at least seven, eight, I would think. Yeah, maybe almost 10 maybe uh. yeah um and that's and that's purely off of uh what uh on the pursuit of my dream of being an artist is like i've always had to build things because of on the independent level i've always had to build things around me that could help push my artwork instead of just going out there with the artwork and saying mm -hmm. hey even though i've done plenty of that and i've done i've done that i've done that jazz you know what i'm saying so now i'm in a place where i'm i'm taking everything i've learned from doing art shows at nightclubs and doing doing uh every swap meet you could think of t uh, doing uh street street stuff street fairs and 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 mm -hmm. posting in places that you're not sure if you're supposed to be there like <laughs> taking all of that and saying hey i'm done with that because i've done some conventions i've done some cons and it's with that different. dedication that's that's all that's awesome <laughs> well, and that's the thing, and that's why I say it's like for me, we are all dedicated towards like what what it is that we like love, and as as long as like we're on that path, no matter how bad we feel, no matter how you know, uh, but just I guess bad how we feel, we could feel bad. It's like mm -hmm. we are literally doing our best, and yeah. that's what I represent to people is just like, dude, I'm just doing my best. Like I'm trying. I'm not perfect, but so that you could see. It's okay that you slipped up yesterday or this morning or whatever the fuck. It yeah, is. and a lot of times what I'm learning is like the pressure that we put on ourselves or like that it all comes from ourselves. Like, you know, like yeah, I'm doing my best, and I always stress like if I let people down, whatever, and people are generally like, oh no, you're you're good, you're okay, like don't worry. And I'm like, cool. Well, I have been worrying the past week, so 
Like, it's yeah, the help I now. <laughs> like, uh, okay, one second. Can I run to the bathroom? Oh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, did I mute myself? Yeah, you muted yourself. I'm just like right okay, by no one, room, so, like, I had a friend that didn't do that. He sure turned his camera off, left the microphone, and he's in there like peeing and like talking to himself and laughing. Uh, and everything. That's why I'm like, I want to mute just in case I do talk to myself. So I'll be back. All right. I might, I might start singing. You never know. All right, cool. <laughs> uh, Christina, it's the one from. Hang on, let me go from last week. I'm trying to get them the video. Um, the Geek Meets major announcement, Christina. You can grab that one for me. <clears throat> so I, I think what what I've just from like all these interviews that we've done, which are so fun, and I'm sure you're probably not going to. Are you doing one in December? Uh, interview? Are you doing one of your shows in December? Or are you skipping oh, no. December? So December is I'm closing the 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 tour off with Comic Con LA, and then I'm doing like a little show uh at hot nonos brewery for their anniversary so for me i'm just showing up as like an artist friend to celebrate with them so uh comic-con la is the end of the tour and then i'm picking it back up february okay well Fe hey that's my my birthday month my Ooh. goal is so uh, in a couple of years i'll be hitting a milestone again so i my dream is to come out to san diego comic-con that year and then by that time, I know you're going to be there already. And and then I can go and get acupuncture and a massage from Mary. Nice. And um, so that's my goal um, is that that's that's, that's like what I want to work to is, is getting there. Um, all right, everybody. Christina just dropped my 199th video link in there. Um, if you guys can go over there and put the hash. What do you want the hashtag to be? Mary, you get to pick. Sander, popcorn. Oh, hey, I thought I you thought you were gonna take it. Uh, hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Mary Gibbs. Hashtag Mary Gibbs. I was gonna go with that, but I was like, is that too egotistical? No, that's why. That's, that's why you popcorn. Better you say it than I do. I don't know. So if you're interested in uh, winning the the twenty five dollar gift card, please go enter the hashtag Mary Gibbs on the link that Christina just dropped. Um, Mama J says, if you come to Kelly and I don't see you, I'm telling Aunt Mylene. I'm bringing Aunt Mylene because part of it, we want to go, you know, hit the wine country too. So yes, we're going to see you. Are you joking me? Let's I got go. a lot of people to visit when I'm out there. Um, so if you guys want to win that, go put hashtag Mary Gibbs on the last one. That's when we announced that she was coming on before she got sick. And then I got sick and it's just been that kind of a, of a, of a time for the past. Yeah, I've, been fight, I've been fighting it. I've been, you yeah, know, good, good. it's trying to creep, but. <laughs> well, I'm in houses every single day. So what I do for my actual job is uh, I do sales for basement waterproofing. And I, I had 20 okay, years cool. in, in property management. So then I go down in these basements. And the one that I went into on Friday, which I don't know if it like made it blow up on me, was they had mold in their home. They were getting their ducks clean. And they were there right at that time when I was there. And so like by the time I left there, my nose was already running. And I'm highly yeah. allergic to mold. And so I think that kind of just like set it off and I've, you know, like half my family's been sick and, uh, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. I, but, yeah. I just, uh, someone's gone around. I, I put myself with Allegra D and Flonase just to go to the comic con. Cause I did not want to let my nephew down. Like, um, <laughs> I love all my nieces and nephews, but Nolan and I have a very special connection. Like he's very much into all of this. I got him on um, Renee's autograph on a little, um, have you seen the new, Funkos where they're in the the videos. I'm I'm sure they're gonna come out with Monsters Inc. ones, but they're in like the little videos? videos. Yeah, they're like probably four inches tall or something like that, in little video cases, and then they have a little figure inside of them. I so, see. Oh, they, there's a boo with like the original like um, DVD cover. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Is that what you're talking about? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, they're like they're like three inches tall or something like okay, that. Okay, no, these ones are kind of big. Okay, oh no, know. these these are new. These are like Funko that came out. And okay. I had one in my car. And so I handed it off to my nephew and I said, and when we got there, I didn't tell him cause I'd only paid for the one autograph. And, um, and when he got up there and I knew that, you know, he'd been, this is what he was getting for Christmas. So then I, I paid again to get the picture taken and then let him get his own autograph. So he, I got him his little video case of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles auto, autograph Aww. for him. Aww, um, okay. But like, it was all I could do to get through that day. I mean, I was like, I had like 70 tissues stuffed in a, a sandwich baggie. And then I had like a whole oh, entire thing. Got, hey, you got it from and it's, it's so cool to see how much 
an autograph like that means to people. Like my roommate loves Star Wars and I got him an Ashoka signature on a pop and it just made his life. Like I don't know, it just the 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 culture around Comic Cons is just like I just love it. I just love like how much heart and like how much like just how much it just makes like fills people up. I don't know. It's cool. It's a it's cool love, book. quite literally. It's love. Yeah. Like, what it is. That's it literally fills up the air. And that's why <laughs> Yeah, it, it's addicting to be a part of what people are excited about, you know. Yeah. I've got a little mm -hmm. taste of that on my end, but just, you know, it, that's why I, I'm never going back to street fairs and, and and any of that stuff ever again in that way. And if I and am... It's, it's more of a niche, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. that, you know. But, Zayn, what, what did I say to you earlier today? Who? What? I'm sorry. What did I say to you earlier today? Oh, when man. You we were talking oh, about, about the comic. Z? About Z? Yeah. I, I said, would it be okay if you put Z on there? I know that you made me do. You almost made me cry. Like, I was like, yeah, of course I'd put Z on there. If you really want him there, you know what I'm what saying? What is it? So uh, I have a, a, a sketch comic book cover. Like, he and I, like, kind of, like, our whole thing. Have you have you done the words Xander yet? Have you figured it out? Have I done what? Right there. Oh, shit. There's Z and there's Spawn. Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah. <sighs> And then the, yeah. these, these two were drawing oh, like my, whole... my friend's little girl, and they call her Potato. And so she did a Harley Quinn, and I don't remember what the other one. Harley Quinn, and then Mommy Long Legs is what she sent. And then she puts some two geek on there. And so I get them when I order comic books, and they send those to me. So I got this is like my art shelf kind of stuff going on there. Um, but I told him it's a sketch cover. Hi, Mabel. <laughs> um, when I sent it to him, you know, I told him like, do whatever you want on it, spawn Batman, whatever he wants to do on it. And I said, but would it be okay if you also put Z on there? Because I think it's, it's cool because we've met each other and, you know, he did send me an original piece of art before he becomes big and famous, but I want the Z on there because it's from him. And then that's going to go on my wall in my living room where I have all oh, my it's like the same, it's your signature. That's what you're saying. It's a, uh, it's my character. Uh, Z. See how oh, he, he, he like, that's that's an actual old comic book, and then what he does is he draws his character into that comic book cover. What? That's so cool. I appreciate. I just, that. Gonna, I'm I just think I get to know you more. That's so, that's dope. Yeah, this is like a look. Like Tom McFarlane, Spider Man, and then there's Z. The... Oh but my yes, god. Oh, but the character is is my. Comic okay, well you're gonna have to bring some stuff uh to the event so I can see it in person. I mean, obviously you're gonna do it. Oh, okay, oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna see oh, it. Yeah, you're gonna. Yeah, you're gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. Obviously. Okay. I'm excited. They, they, they want to see it. So Xander is Z, Z is right here, and then that's his spawn artwork right there. Yeah, which is actually my spawn piece is right here. Hang Wait, on, I... Oh, I see. Yeah. Whoa. What's that? What medium is that? This right here is a uh, originally on sketch, but then I digitally uh, uh, inked it. Very cool. Mama J, you meet like oh. you know like half of the rock and roll people that. in the world. What's up? Mama J, she says, I've never paid for an autograph. All the ones I have are, are got meeting people in odd places. It's because Mama J is always in the Those right place. Those are the best the right autographs place. to get. Oh, but you know, everyone's gotta make a buck now, one way or another. And then this is oh. my character, Z. Oh I love it. So he's he's not actually an astronaut, even though it looks like he is. Um He's an artist, but like the the comic book starts like in his mind, because he's 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 a he's in meditation the entire hey, comic. Book. So like you don't get to see like the real life; you just get to see the metaphysical like experience of a meditation. And really, wait, wait. Okay, he's just kind of a star. You know what I mean? I'm not talking about the. You have a comic book out? Before. Like I I don't I want to buy it. Oh, it's coming! <laughs> it's coming! It's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Working That's on the, exciting. Uh, working, oh. uh, the actual finishing of the book, but then also to a publishing deal for so that I can also keep ownership and everything's got to be squared away. But yeah, so this wow. is like, this is his journey. He's just trying to become a star. And like I said, not the one on Hollywood Boulevard. This is a, you know, oh, this is the journey of an artist, but also just an individual. So I want I my to be like a source material for people who are in a creative block or maybe in a spiritual block, open up that their chakras and their waves, you know what I'm saying? And and, and remind them like, yo, like, <coughs> there you, go. you know what I'm saying? Hey, 
<laughs> that's fire. And then I have the seven chakras on my wrist. Ooh. That's point. Like we're all in it together, you know what I mean? And and like yeah, raise the vibrations. None of that's planned. That's just life, and that's the beauty of yeah. it. And yeah. Instead of being afraid of it, I just choose to be like, you know what I mean? I just choose to walk. Yeah, because I used to be afraid of Buckle it. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but this is life. This is the beauty of it. And so, yeah, that's you know, I'm grateful that you even brought that up uh, about, you know, putting my character into the comic book, you know, page. It's like, again, this is everything to me. So um, yeah. character is becoming a piece of everything that I am around. So when I'm gone, I'm never gone. You know what I mean? Just like all of us, like that's the beauty of it. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the craziest thing too. Just random that made me think of that is like, you know, people always think of like, uh, Oh, am I going to, leave a legacy you know i don't know why people you know but like leave your mark and it's interesting like yeah when i was three like that will be my mark but i've kind of been living my life like how else can i leave my mark you know <laughs> like because i don't I, like you know it, it, like it's about finding out like what you want to i don't know I don't, you're I don't know. evolving yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, uh, and the thing is, you haven't just left your mark because you, your life's not over. That's the beautiful part. It's like, dude, I'm mm. on to the next thing, the new thing, and this is me right now. And yeah. this is like yeah. where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, you didn't, you you haven't just left your mark because you were in this amazing project. You know what I mean? And and it, it's like you're literally a living human being in the right now. Like there's there's story something that needs to be told. You know what I mean? So like. Mm -hmm that's what i'm that's what i can see from my perspective and it's like this is what i'm gonna do you know we talked about it a little bit but that's exactly the whole thing is like you're evolving into what you're supposed to become you never get to see the car parked yeah 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 as are you and you and you you know like <laughs> yeah all of us that's that's the whole thing like you said earlier i think i'm just t telling myself and reminding myself to do this because Dude, I, I, I used to do lives on Instagram all day. No one came on my shit, but I was still having a whole conversation. And it was just because it's me. I'm just talking to me. It's okay. Yeah, I'd, I'd go in there and it'd be you and I hanging out for like 45 minutes. And Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? You came in and I'm already talking. Who are you talking to, buddy? This guy. You know what this I mean? Guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. doesn't matter. It just got reflection. This is the self That's it. Yeah. That's it. No, it, it, it's fun. I mean, half the time I go on, on Instagram live and, and like I pick the wrong time of day and there's nobody there you know <laughs> but it's it's still fun i mean you're getting you're getting your 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 thoughts out into the world and whatever you had to say yeah, yeah. you're just getting it out to yourself first and foremost and i think like i think yeah of course the world i think uh the live uh people will find it if they need to need it yeah exactly it, it allows you to share those thoughts and, and i think that's a beautiful segue into it where I did it so much and I realized, why am I going on Instagram live? Like, why don't I just do this like, like I'm always doing anyways? Why do I have to put the camera on? Like, this isn't who I am. You know what I mean? In the sense of like, mm -hmm. I don't want to be on my face on places. And then it was kind of like, well, guess what? You don't get to choose that. You <laughs> are here. Just yeah. don't become what you, what you don't want to become, you know? So it's like, you there's the things that you don't get to choose because life says, hey, check this out. It's not you forever. You get to evolve. You don't have to stay here forever. And when you're in it, you don't have to feel like you're stuck. You could literally go, dude, in 10 years, I'm out of this bitch. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm on to yeah. the next day. I'm about to film movies. Like, what do you think about that? You know what I mean? And people may not be ready for it, but at least you are. Yeah. Oh man, they changed this. Yeah, so yeah. like you have to pay now if you want to, to like filter off of a certain comment. What happened? Uh, so I tried to do the random comment picker and then they've changed this now where you have to pay if you want it to like use you the, the hashtag. Isn't that silly? Crazy. You have to pay to use the hashtag. Yeah, you have to like if you want it for this random comment picker. Oh shit. It, it used ah. to be Mary oh. Dad. Wow. Yeah, it used to be that you you um you you could just get uh Mabel. You, you used to be able to like go by like different hashtags and everything else. It's um, okay. It, it was just it's weird. <laughs> Am I looking? Whatever. That's okay. Your your kid looked like me when I first came on to the to the thing. What? When I first came on on here when it before we went live. 
I'm all like moving everywhere and shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm like, sorry guys. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was uh I I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I let the time slip right by. I was just on my computer and I Oh, it's easy. It's easy. Just shot up and I go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Well, are you guys ready to do this pickle trip? Yeah, I know. I've been ready. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. All right. All right. So, so you're going to eat this. Is this it, is called the really... chamoy pickle. And there, there's an actual whole process to this. And I, I What's it called it. again? The chamoy pickle. C-H-A-M-O-Y. Chimoy. Uh -huh. Okay. Chamoy. Oh, I and love the taste. I think. I think so if you guys, this is the lady that sells the kits. This is the QR code if you guys want to. Get one oh. yourself and try it. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I know, right? I was like, what? <laughs> so what comes in this huge bag, and you're supposed to put all of this inside of this pickle, is you get these salsa getty, like gummy things. You get flaming hot Cheetos. You eat it this all is all going time. inside the pickle. What? Like a stuffed pickle. Like like yeah, like like a stuffed pickle. There is, um, I think this is like fruit by the foot or something that you're supposed to put in there. Fruit roll up? What the fuck is going on? There is okay, this. Shit. Stuff that pickle. Goo. Stuff that pickle. Oh my Some goo. sort of goo. Oh gosh. That's, and then last but not least is this like sprinkle stuff that is like, I guess, kind of like tahini or something. You sure? You sure you're not from San Diego? This is like... This is I like, know, I know, I know. I'm like, I'm like, I recognize all that. <laughs> oh, blame my mother. The Palatello man, man. Like, come on. So, yeah, first yeah, things I'm first. Like, you know, the, the card. The I'm going to drain this red stuff out of here so that it doesn't... I, I, apparently, this really stains your hands. Uh, so, I'm going to... It's going to be fun tomorrow when I have to go to work and then I have bright uh, pink fingers. They're going to be like, uh, what did you do? It looks like <laughs> blood. Who'd you kill? <laughs> Who'd you kill? Maple, step over the wire. Step she's over like, the wire. She's like, no, it, it, this is not the easiest way, mom. <laughs> she's like, this is, this is. She's like, this is not normally here. What? <laughs> oh, I love, my. love me. Come on, <laughs> go ahead, over the wire. Dogs don't understand uh, cold. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can show this without spilling it. No, oh. it's it's it literally is like the color of blood. It's weird. And Mary wouldn't mind it, but I, I'm like, okay. What? I don't, no. I don't, I don't, like, I don't like show me. Show me more. I don't like. So I'm gonna, I'll take like an overhead camera to show your preparation. Uh, yeah. Here's the. <laughs> I know. I, I. Well, I broke the other the the connector off the bottom one, or else I normally do have to. All right, you guys ready for this thing? Yes. Sir. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. So what? you put it. You you put all that stuff inside. Yeah, so I, I got smart, though, because everybody else was, like, using, like, a knife to, like, scrape out the middle, and I have an apple corer, like, little uh, tool. So you're okay. supposed to... It smells like a dill pickle, but it, it's red. All right, so you're supposed to cut <laughs> the, the end of it off. Which I can imagine, first. because the bird in Southern California, and, like, I have, like, I can imagine the taste that's going to happen. It's so probably, it, but it's probably, like, why? Yeah, yeah. You know? Have so I have this little a apple, apple core tool right here. Yeah, that and it smacks. <laughs> uh, pickles on pizza. Pickles I have... on pizza. Where is that? My friend thing? Minerva, who cooks them. What is that a San Diego thing? Pickles on a pizza? No, uh, no. I... My I don't know what thing it is. My friend Minerva, she lives in Texas, and she, her and her mom own this business, and they make pizzas. And she made me a pickle pizza, and I don't know. It was magical. No. I... <laughs> They're actually good. I had one in Jamaica. It's like random. I thought I thought it was like a thing in Jamaica. And I was like, Oh, what? see, yeah, I don't, know, I don't know what thing it is, but it's just a, it's a good thing. I don't know. It was like I remember some kid. He ordered it. He was like pickle pizza, and I was like, Dude, that's disgusting. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's... yeah, instant reaction. And he goes, Dude, try it. And I tried it, and I had like three. I had three that whole entire trip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pickle peas. That's the last time I had it though, because it's a yeah. You have to. It's an acquired taste. Well, this was an it's epic. Like I, I, I gotta stick I, my I, finger I, in there I anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta stick my finger in there anyway because the core biscuit, won't. biscuit. I see how you go. All right. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Ready? Okay. So you've cored the pickle. You've stuffed uh, the pickle. Cored the pickle. I have not stuffed it yet. Okay. So you have the pickle. The pickle has been soaked in. The, the, the pickle has the pickle has been cored. 
that was more of a process than I thought it was because I didn't think about having to cut the bottom of it off. I wasn't going all the way through. Is it so. sweet? Did you try the end? Is no, I, have, I, I, I don't want to taste it until I, I, I do this. So the first oh. thing... If it's sweet, it's probably... Oh, my God. I'm going to have to, like, jump in the shower after this because, like, <laughs> they, they literally look like I, I murdered someone. All right, so first things first, we're going to shove the, 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 the Cheetos in the hole. I'm going to get those down in there. Obvious joke that none of us will say. Yeah. We'll I almost did it. I was like, I can't ruin people's childhoods like that. We'll just, pause. we'll just pause it for a second. All right. Next is going to be the, the little mini Takis are going in. And, and like, I already think Takis are hot. I'll be honest with you. The blue Takis yeah. are the weirdest things I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, I feel I can't eat them. Yeah. Like, it's like cheating on hot Cheetos, though. Like, that's why I don't... It's Talkies. like too artificial. Takis are in. Takis are in. Takis are in. All right. Are in. All right. My poor hands. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Thanks, Thanks, mom. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna do the the gummy <laughs> stuff. That looks like red <laughs> spaghetti. Oh, there's like a sauce in here too. Oh, gosh. Gosh. I wish I had a pickle. I wish I could share this experience with you. Low key. Do you really? <laughs> well, mm, yeah. <laughs> Maybe so, wash it. I, I used to do like the, the spicy challenges, like the one chip challenge and all that kind of stuff. And I think mm -hmm. that my body hates me now. Mm. Yeah. I want to do that type of stuff. I want to do hot ones like so bad. I want to get that lineup of uh, hot sauces. I know this guy who's like known for going to festivals and going on stage and chugging a bottle of sriracha. And really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, well, but, but why? But, but why? <laughs> At least when I've done those, it was for a charity <laughs> event. You know, like we were raising money for something when we when I do stupid things like that. All right, now I'm totally ruining my jeans right now because I'm getting red all over it. All right, so <laughs> stuff oh, no. some of that in there. And now we're going to put the goo in there. The goo. The, this goo, oh. if I can get it open. How the hell do you get it open? Oh, there it goes. Where the geek meets eats. Yes, this is where the geek meets eats. <laughs> Ooh. I oh, I did. All right. So um, the problem with this pickle is that where the geek meets dripping. eats. So <sighs> yum. We're going to really fill her up with the goo. Watch. I'm going to get people on this side over here addicted to this. I'm going to start seeing it more often now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, watch, watch what this, watch what she does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now oh, I got the powder open. I only got one hand because I'm holding the pickle with one hand. That's what she said. Oh, see, I mean, yeah, you had to throw something. There. I was going so for many a times that one we could have said that though. Like I said it only once without saying it. There were so many times. The moment she pulled it out. There was a time. Oh, heck yeah. This is like a, a giant joke. <laughs> it, oh, she's like, yeah. she's like, like stop. <laughs> like, Mary's like, what did I get myself into? I know, straight up. I know, my bad. <laughs> no, no. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I oh, told no. you I was going to do this. I can't get this powder open. I can't help <laughs> it. You guys good. I, I can't help my my stupid brain. Just is like, I bring the in the gutter, so you're good. Yeah, okay, there we go. At least my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> we're all on the same page. <laughs> okay. Now we got now we got the powder. Maple, watch out. Oh lordy. That oh my stuff god. comes out fast. All right. Oh, so wait, what, wait, what powder? Okay, so that's uh, oh, wait, is that the pickle? Sweet and sour chamoy flavored powder. Pickle, and then she just put like a salt or like a sugar. Have you never had like the the chamoy or anything like that before? No, never. Oh, cool. Okay, this will be good. <laughs> oh, we, got this, uh, we got this puppy stuffed. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's do like a little like seance. I don't know. On Is my it phone. Like... <laughs> it's nice. It's like. Is it? Is it your new favorite snack? <laughs> No. 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 It's like sweet and spicy it's at the like same time. I mean, like the vinegar at the end. Mm -hmm. But the whole wad of that gummy fruity candy all came out at the same time. 
Yeah, I knew it would. Um, it's weird. But then you like now, now all of a sudden, now it's hitting me like my mouth's starting to water because the spice is hitting me. Mm. I don't think your I body's just like, what do I do with this? Yeah, part of the bottom is probably tastes different than than all the stuff you put on the top because the way it's layered. Yeah, this is like chamoy is like uh like down over here because we're right by the border. Um, it, it's it's heavy out here. Like people put chamoy on every fucking thing on ice cream, everything. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. now we're getting into the chips. If you're not putting that hot sauce inside of your hot Cheetos with lime, like not really from. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right, here we go. Takis. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, Takis. <laughs> oh, you can hear the crunch. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> I like the fist though. Woo. Oh. <laughs> it's very interesting. Hey. Is the that pickle, was way more yeah. sour. Is the pickle actually sweet, or is it just a regular pickle taste? It's it, it's just a very vinegary pickle taste. Oh, have you guys had a pickle back? Yeah, no. Jameson's and pickle juice. Jameson and pickle juice. It's like such a good chaser. Actually. What? Yeah. I'm gonna have to try that. No, actually, do it. Do it. Yeah, no, it's really good. Actually, I, I don't even really like dark liquor. Neither do I. I'm a tequila girl. You get me around to beer, beer girl. I will drink all day. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like a beer wine girl. More mostly beer girl. <laughs> now, see, if you come here, I'll take you around. Like, um, so actually, Xander, you'll be interested to know that my friends who um so I worked at 16 at a cider mill and like like made the donuts and worked in the strawberry fields and everything. Well, they have a hard cider company called Blake's Hard Cider. Oh, okay. Ooh, and they announced in the news today. That they're actually teaming up with a um, a company called Pleasant Trees, and they're going to be doing a seltzer, an an Arnold Palmer, Mom, I said it right, and um, a few other cocktail drinks that will be infused with THC. Okay. With THC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I like that. It's legal here in Michigan. You know, I think it's legal out there now, right? Yeah. Yeah. And if it was legal where I've lived, so. Yeah, so they legalized putting it in drinks now, and um, so that's Whoa. something that that they're gonna be rolling out over the next year. I I had no idea, and I, at first I was kind of like shocked because you know Blake's is supposed to be this like family go pick your pumpkins and your apples and go get your Christmas tree kind of place, and I'm like you're putting I, THC in drinks. Standing there, it's so it's so. I mean, I'm not even gonna try to be an advocate for it, but it's a, it's a thing. What is it? THC marijuana? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have two tinge metal rods in my spine and Rick Simpson oil. It it helps my body. So that's all I got to say about that. So. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> I, I am a good girl. I do not partake in it, but um, in, I love my neighbor and he gave I'm me I'm a good some. girl and I partake in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my neighbor gave me some for Christmas and, and like I've been so scared. I know it's legal. Like I could throw it out in the trash if I wanted to. It's been sitting in my cupboard in my kitchen for two years. Okay, you shouldn't smoke that. You shouldn't smoke that. I'm not going to. I, didn't, <laughs> I haven't touched it in two years. Yeah. Oh. You do have a buddy, but you do have a buddy though. So has she seen these yet? I don't. I don't think so. I don't. I don't be like sending everyone all the things that I do just because you know. Oh. Yeah, it's a little toy that I did. I'm on my phone and there's a light behind it, so I so like I can't see it into the. Well, oh, like, I'm gonna put my bright red fingers up here so you can see it better. What's it made out Hello, of? Hello, buddy. Is- so, like, the thing is, friends uh, come and go. Weed always goes too quickly, but these buddies, they stay forever. Wait, so, and you yeah. make them? Uh, yeah, so uh, it was one of my designs, and then... Uh, Wait, can I have one? What's up? Can I can I buy one and have one on... Yeah, whatever? most right, definitely. Cool. Yay! Yeah, yeah, they come in purple, too. I like purple. You want whatever a purple you one? Whatever you, whatever right, you so think. I'm gonna- I got you. We're going to maple. Oh, I think maple is dinner. I made it. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I got you. I only have two right. left. So, We're gonna... yeah, so I'll, I'll, I got you. Well, lock me in. I want, I want to, I want a buddy. You guys should see <laughs> my jeans right now. They're like bright pink, like in spotted pink. 
What was that? What is it? My pants are like spotted pink. I dropped that stuff all over my pants. Oh my gosh! Is your uh, and your like your fingers? Let's see your fingers again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a, How's your tongue? Let's is your tongue bright red. Oh, oh yeah, yeah that's the best it. part. You can see it. <laughs> Oh, the struggle. <laughs> right, I'm trying to get this to work. If if this doesn't work, guys, what I will do is draw it on um, Instagram. Once we get off, um, I'll I'll go live and do the comment picker there. Um, but it's not letting me flip over to it for some reason. I don't know why. Mama just says I plead the fifth. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> it's like stuck. Mama J, Mama J's got a, I think she's got a purple and a green one. Purple and a green one. And then yeah. uh, Wait, Dead Zone has the ones that you put in the little jars. What's up? Dead Zone has the ones that you put in the little jars. Yeah, that's when I got smart. <laughs> that's when I got smart. That's when I got smart. And everything's a learning process. That's why I put it out as I do it. Because it's like, man, you know, I could die tomorrow. Like, might as well, like, try to, you know, put, <laughs> do do the things that I love. So, yeah, no, I actually, I actually really appreciate you guys because uh, I haven't even, I haven't even promoted the the buddies because I only have like two left. Yeah, it's not. And so I have. Well, really... I want to buy one and then I'll help you promote it. <laughs> I'll be like, Look at I got buddies. you. No, no, I, I got you. I'll just give you one. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. give me one and then I'll help. I'll be the, I'll be the promoter. Who likes buds? Booze, booze exactly. buds. Exactly. Booze buddies. Yeah. Well, <laughs> No, most definitely, most definitely, yeah. It's it was cool because uh, it was just like a little bit of an inside look of like a dream that I had, and I've always been, you know, a comic book collector, a toy collector, but I actually like play with the toys and like read the comic books and open the books and mm -hmm. stuff. So nice. I'm not like a nice. I'm not nice. a good collector. No, you're that's. <laughs> I always am like <laughs> people. My manager, he paid, he went to Comic Con, bless his heart, I love him. $4,000 on this Spider Man comic book. And he came up to me and he was so excited that he found this one. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so, like, that's awesome. But are, is he ever going to read it? No. Right, so, right. I mean, like, I mean, there's the thing to that. There's, a, there's this, you know, but then if you're actually going to read and engage, I mean, you know, well, I'd rather spend, like, yeah. If, if they like this, Oh, that's not a good one to show. But I know what you mean, though, because then that's that's the thing. It's like I I didn't do it on like purpose. This, you can't read them because they're encased. Oh, the CGC. Wait, I yeah, because yeah, this is called I a slab. So if they like that, which makes them more valuable when they're when they're graded, but they're encased in plastic. You can't crack that, or you can, but exactly. But yeah, I'd be the one who cracked it open. And... Wait, I only see me and Xander's. Uh, screens is that? I don't know uh, what happened. Oh, yeah, is her? I think hers is. Am I frozen? Fro yeah, you're frozen. Oh, there you are. Okay, now you we see you. You were you were freezing on us, man. Oh, could did did you not see the slab at all, Mary? No, I did not. Oh, okay, here. Ooh. So oh, this is cool. one that I have, you know, but they're encased in this plastic, and then they're yeah. sealed up. So that's the whole point of getting it graded. Is it's like. It's well, yeah, protected. and that's amazing, and that's a, it's a, just a different, you know. It's a different world. I know what you mean. Yeah, but it's 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 awesome that that like yeah that. I'm only here like I'm only here till I'm here. Like I don't know. I don't. I I I'm a bad collector, and I'll probably give it to someone. That's what makes me a bad collector too. I'll probably give it to somebody like <laughs> you know what I mean like who who wants it or or just I feel it in that moment. Cause it's like temporary. It's all super temporary. All of this. Man. Is that? I was, gonna, I was gonna send this to you to keep. Me? Yeah. You can do whatever you want with it. Oh man, please. So I this have is a Monsters Inc. thing. Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, that's badass. What? I have no idea. My 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 managers will just get me random things at Comic Con, so I'm not exactly sure what this is but this is my it's probably worth like so much <laughs> yeah well i'll bring it and let me know because i don't know <laughs> is is there is there like a whole story Can you draw your little guy on there i could yeah yeah, yeah cool do i'm gonna do that because that'll be worth more to me because i don't i don't know <laughs> I'm like, uh... that'd be awesome 
Yeah, I want your little space guy in there. Oh, you want my guy? You want my guy in there? Yeah. What? <laughs> Why not? Of course I will. You put your you put your guy in comic book covers, right? I do. I know. I know. You guys, you guys don't know what you're doing to me right now. So, all right, all right. I, <laughs> I, I uh, he's gonna belong on this guy too. I so. accept it all. I accept it all, and I and I and I understand the the mission at hand. <laughs> Does uh, anybody in the chat have any more questions? Oh, I loved up. I love that. Movie. <laughs> that was just what I said. Love anybody it. have? Uh, have you it's seen? The has she seen a soda yet? Have you know, have you seen the sodas, the Funko sodas, Mary? I have. Uh, 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 yeah, I have a Soli one. Yeah, that's the one I. That's the only one I have. Yeah, they're so cool. They like in little soda cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just saw that recently. It was like the like. Yeah, and uh. I don't know. Someone just gave me this. Like, I just like the random. I don't even know what these are from. Uh. Oh, it's that game. It looks like some game, right? Yeah. yeah. Game. There was like a where you there was something where you put it on like some like mat or something. The sensor and the chip or yeah, something in the bottom of it would like bring Sully to life on the screen. Yeah. What game? Like, what system is that? I don't even know. Uh, I I don't know if it was PlayStation or what. Yeah, but they gave us me. I was like, that's cool. I mean, yeah. I like all the random little, like, like, things that I acquire. <laughs> that's awesome, though. I mean, I always get a little reminder. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, how cool is it that you could, like, you know, as you grow up and you can still, like, find things that, that was, your, like, you, that you voiced and it doesn't matter. And they keep coming out with new versions of it and new this and that. It's and so other. trippy. No, the trippiest thing is that my voice is on a ride at Disneyland. What? That's a trip. That's, that's the trippiest. Trippiest. I don't know why that's trippier to me than my voice is on in a movie because I mean is one in the same obviously, but <laughs> it's one in the same. But the fact that I can see. I'm on a, yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, that would that would that me out. I I think I'd probably blush like I'd walk in there and be like. And the weird um, thing is, is like no one realizes because she's not you know that the tiny little character with the well, dark yeah. tails and everything and i'm else. not the type of person to like be on the ride and be like i'm boo i'm boo you know <laughs> so i'm just like sneakily i'm just like i love being on the ride with people on the ride and right. them not knowing that they're on the ride with the voice of boo and me not telling them and like relishing in that i'm like haha this that's is cool. the trippy part. I could, I think I could understand it'd be it'd more experienced because you don't get to go in the theater and keep watching it with people and you're yeah. just like, a part of the, the Disney world, the you know what I mean, and you're in yeah. it. Love this place, like I just love coming here to do this. And yeah. like you just said, I get to, I kind of just get to be in the middle of it, experiencing it as a person. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't see any more questions from the chat, and I know that uh, it's eight. Well, it's eight thirty here, so I know it's four thirty or what five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah. Five thirty there. So I know I kept you a little bit longer than we we had meant to, but I do oh, appreciate it. No, this has been a good, good conversation. Nice to like. Connect it's with you guys. it's been absolutely awesome. I I, I am gonna go try and soak my fingers now, and uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. get the get the red off my hands before I go because I have an appointment. Did you finish the morning. pickle? Did you finish the pickle? No, I have about half of it left. I'm gonna are cut you... off where I bit, and then I'm gonna let my nephew try it too because he's into. Oh stuff yeah, I'm like, are you, are you gonna like make other people do it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna make my nephew try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. He'll do it. How old is he? Twelve. Oh yeah, twelve year old. He, he should have been my kid. Like we're both into like weird food. He loves to cook. We, we're you Aww. know we're into all the geeky stuff. Well, you'll and... be, you're the cool fun fun aunt. Oh yeah. I, I, well, I'm the big kid, you know. So yeah, exactly. That's While you were gone, I told Xander my my goal is is in three years when I know Xander is going to be at San Diego Comic Con. I'm going to come out to California and because I I want to you know get to actually give Xander a big hug. So I said I'm going to come out to Comic Con. And then I'm going to come see you and get a massage and some acupuncture. Yes. And yes. I got to see Mama J or else I get killed. Yeah, you got to uh, do your rounds. You got to do your I rounds. I got to do my rounds while I'm out there. But that's that's like what I want to do for my milestone birthday that's coming up. So For your what? Introduce uh, to McFarland. I'm just going to be like, hey, yo, Todd, get your ass over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so adult is, diapers. Bring adult diapers. Okay. This is someone <laughs> you can be because they paid your bills. Okay. Yeah. You owe her a lot, of, you owe her a lot bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> So, uh, but thank you so much. And, and Mary, if I can be of any assistance with, you know, like with any of this stuff, as far as, as the, the stream yard goes or whatever. I'll yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I definitely want to 
start my own podcast live stream thing. So I'll be reaching out to you for sure. Absolutely. And you have an open invitation. Anytime you want to come back, you want to announce something or anything, Xander thank knows. You. And so, um, but Appreciate thank you so you much. It's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, I was very pleased when I heard that, that he'd gotten you and I look forward to Xander's shows this weekend. Yes, uh, yeah. you this yeah. time. Hobnonymous, uh, Claremont Mesa. We got special guest Mary Gibbs in the mm -hmm. building. Uh, she's going to be there doing uh, autographs. She's got uh, her posters. If you guys got memorabilia and you want it signed, she's I got some there. custom bags. Custom bags. We could drink some beer. Woo! You know? Woo! Woo! That's the best. Drink That's some beer with Boo. Part. I know. He yeah. Get, he, I keep doing all these interviews and then I never get to go to the party. Uh, <sighs> it's <there's, laughs> this would be and, like a two. Yeah. And that's the best part. If I could actually uh, plug in the last show, the best part about this show, these shows, uh, and I'm actually the most proud of is the the curation of like all the artists and vendors that are a part of it. We it feels like family. It's because it's an intimate situation. It's a much smaller uh, venue, but it's like I can't wait for when it's bigger than that it to still feel like that like the oh, yeah. family is like yeah strong and, and I, that's what i was the most grateful for on this last one to kind of when you asked me how did it go what was the turnout the turnout was people showed up for me and uh and now i have to repay them back uh in the best ways i know how possible so that's just energy and love and so this one i'm excited because i want people to experience it um in this uh even better environment because hopnonymous is such a good um, they're, they are a really good, uh, uh, match with my energy and they accommodate to the people cause it's about the people. So yeah, I can't wait for you guys to experience it. I can't wait for you to come to San Diego. Hopefully it takes, uh, soon yes. for years, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, if I can make it happen, I'll make it happen. Um, yeah. Dale, you might not have been here earlier. She said they actually followed her around from like when she was two and a half to three, all the way up to five and got different, like different parts of that whole performance at different times. So she didn't really have lines, so question, but they would like give you hints basically, before. right? Me neither. Yeah, they would give her hints and like say, can you say like Kitty sad or can you, you know. Oh yeah, like well, what was he asking how I got, like how they talk. He, he you want to know if you still remembered your lines and I, I didn't think oh, you had Oh yeah, like, I mean, it was just, so I was two and a half to three and a half and they followed me around with the microphone. The, um, the, the guy, uh, the microphone guy, they pretty much taped a microphone to a boom he had to take his shoes off because the shoes were making too much noise. So he's tiptoeing around me in socks, like following me around. And um, yeah, so I, do I remember my lines? I mean, they were just like a lot of baby noises and like, Kitty, Mike Wazowski, duh. That is, that's, that's, that's my other favorite part. And I wanted I wanted to play that part was when when you're in the, the suit and you get stuck in the little like class line. And then oh, yeah. like somebody like walked up, one of the little monsters walked up to you and you, and you like growled at him. You're like, Arr! and then you go, <laughs> and she goes, oh, what's your name? And you go, Mike Wazowski. I was like, <laughs> Mike Wazowski. My favorite. Yeah. my favorite, my favorite. All right, <laughs> folks. Well, um, we will be back uh, next week. I'm going to try and do something, maybe like a game night or something on Tuesday night um, before the holidays. Uh, it all depends on when my mother sends me grocery shopping because Wednesday is cook day. And uh, Sunday, we're actually going on the Polar Express. So it's actually the train that they use to do the animated movie um, with Tom Hanks in it. Um, hey, how the cool. actual, actual train. On the actual train. Yeah. So we start in um, Owasso, Michigan, and then it takes us to North Pole, Michigan. And so you I get love out there. Train rides. You want to train. Oh, it's, it's great. It's so much fun. And they, they give you a bell when, when you leave, you know, so you get the little bell and you get, we, uh, we got the, um, hot chocolate package. So we get a mug and everything that mm. says oh, the Polar cute. Express on it. So uh, we're doing that on Sunday with the kids. Unfortunately, Theo's oh, a little too young yet. So it'll just be the three littles. I usually get, I'm usually at the table with the kids and, you know, the adult tables on the other side of the train. Um, but <laughs> it's a good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Kendall's three now. So it'll be a lot more fun um, than last year when she was a little bit younger. So we're doing that on Sunday. If uh, for any reason, yeah, I want to do game night, Mama J. I haven't figured out which games, but uh, we'll, we'll do something. Um, but in case I don't see you guys, please have a, a happy Thanksgiving. Everybody travel safe. Xander, Mary, have an amazing show this weekend. I can't wait to see more pictures and videos like the last time. And um, 
we got to keep this going, brother. So anything you need over the next couple of months, and I know you're going to ramp up shows again in, in February. So, um, and uh, yeah. one question, is there a way to like, cause I'm trying to get my old YouTube. I'm going to, can you like tag boo grown up? Like my old YouTube in it, or I don't know how. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Afterwards I'll, I'll go in into the description. Yeah. I can link it. Yep. Okay, cool. Yay. Absolutely. Most, most, oh, what was the thing you said right before that? I'm sorry. Well, I don't know. You said something. That I just I totally forgot about it. Cause I I I thought you asked something. No. No. I, oh, I said yeah. I, I hope you can keep doing this. And you know, I know your next show is probably not going to be until February. But you know, if, I hope you oh, keep yeah. doing fun stuff like this. You keep bringing me interesting people, and we have these organic it. conversations, and it's a lot of fun. Most definitely, I I got more coming. Yeah, just because the show's not going to be till February, I got things like. I have this whole idea that I want to talk to you about just, you know, trying to kind of elevate how we push it and put it out there. You know what I mean? If you're open Absolutely. to that type of conversation. So, um, yeah, like coming next year, everyone who, who meets me, um, we're going to, you know, and it, and it aligns, it's going to, we're gonna, I'm going to be able to do a little bit more than I was uh, at the top of this year. So um, much more. Awesome to all of you guys i appreciate you guys coming and, and making this possible thank you for having me on here oh no i appreciate it mary again it was a pleasure to meet you anything you need you know consider me a, a buddy now and i uh, so i did send you a message on instagram so it's the same thing geek meets eats but uh yeah if you need anything any help with streaming thank you let me know okay perfect all right. Thank you guys. All right, you guys. I will. I, end this, I will. I'll do the drawing and then I'll post the drawing on on uh, on here and we'll let you know who won and then um, reach out to that person as well. So I don't know why it's glitching, but all right, everybody, enjoy your weekend. Bye. Have a great night. Mike, Mike, Mike. 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 I don't know how to get out of here.